take a look at the real number system. So the real number system is all numbers that can be found on a number line. So the numbers can be really large or they can be really small, which means they could be positive, they could be negative, they could be decimals, they could be fractions. So for example, the number five or the number one million and five, um, but they all kind of fit together and we're gonna look at it in terms of an ice cream cone. So imagine any number that exists that could go on that number line um, is on this cone in this ice cream. So the smallest group of numbers are called natural numbers. Natural numbers are your counting numbers. So they're what you naturally count by. So imagine you walk up to a five-year-old and you say, hey, count to five. They're gonna naturally start with one, two, three, four, and five. They're not gonna give you decimals, not fractions, not negatives. So natural numbers, the smallest group of numbers right there in the center of our cone are natural numbers. All right, so then we're gonna grow just a little bit here and we're gonna add whole numbers. So whole numbers are all natural numbers and zero. All right, so I want you to close your eyes, close them. All right, so imagine a hole in the ground. I imagine most of you probably pictured a circular hole. All right, you can open your eyes now. But so whole numbers include zero, so that hole, plus your natural numbers, one, two, three, four, and so on. All right, let's add another category here, integers. So integers, these are your whole numbers, which means they're also your natural numbers, but now we've included their opposites. So now we've got negatives, such as negative three, negative two, negative one, and then all the numbers that we've mentioned previously. All right, and then our biggest category is what we call rational numbers. These are all integers, which means whole numbers, natural numbers as well, but now we're adding in fractions and decimals. But there's one stipulation, the decimals, they have to be what we call, quote, pretty decimals, which means they're terminating decimals, so they stop. Or they're repeating decimals, so like 0.33333 and so on. Um, other examples might be the square root of 25. Yes, it's a square root, but it simplifies to 5. Um, they could be negative decimals or negative fractions. So these are our biggest category of numbers. Now you might be thinking, well, there's some numbers that aren't fractions or they're not these quote pretty decimals. So what are those called? That's gonna be our little cherry on top. So it's not a part of our ice cream, but it's still a real number, it still exists. And these are called irrational numbers. Irrational numbers, these are your non-perfect roots, not fractions. They're decimals that don't terminate, which means they don't stop and they also don't repeat, all right? So you might say sometimes that your parents are being irrational because they just keep going and going and going. So it's kind of the same thing with numbers, irrational numbers, they just kind of keep going and going and going. So as I mentioned before, if a number is a natural number, it automatically fits into the whole number, integer and rational number category. So it's gonna have multiple characteristics. If it's a whole number, same thing. It's gonna be a whole number, but it's also going to be an integer and rational. And then lastly, your integers are also considered rational numbers. So you're gonna identify more than one category sometimes. Now, just to note, there are numbers that are considered not real numbers, kind of these imaginary numbers, such as four over zero. If you were to type in four divided by zero into your calculator, it'll give you a divide by zero error or the square root of negative four, that's also not a real number. Lucky for you, we don't have to deal with that this year, but just know that those are out there. All right, so sometimes you're gonna have questions that ask you to determine which set or sets of real numbers each number would belong to. So let's look at negative five. So negative five is a negative whole number, which means it's gonna be an integer. Now, since it's an integer, that means it's automatically considered rational. Now, if a number's rational, that means it's automatically not irrational. It's always gonna be one or the other, it cannot be both. And since integer is the smallest category, that also means it's not gonna be natural and not gonna be a whole number. Our next example is 100. Now, it might take you a while, but technically, it is a counting number. Therefore, it's a natural number. 
Now, since it falls under that natural number category, that means it also fits into every other category in our ice cream section, which would be whole number, integer, rational number. And since it's a rational number, that means it's automatically not an irrational number. Let's look at one more example, the square root of 54. If you were to simplify that, you get 7.348, and it just kind of keeps going and going. There's no pattern to it. It never stops or terminates. Therefore, it's irrational. And if a number is irrational, that means it's automatically not any of the rest. All right, so this sums up your real number system.